Hello. Just thought I'd make a little video real quick. I'm uh, going to attempt to uh, braze an aluminum tank. Um, I thought that I had drained it, and apparently my valve didn't work, and uh, it didn't drain fully at all. Um, probably two thirds of the tank was full, easy. Um, it had a little bit of uh, antifreeze in it, but it, it also wasn't enough to stop this crack right here from happening. Um, hopefully, you can kind of see it here. See if it'll zoom in. There it is. So, this is an aluminum tank. I don't know the manufacturer of it. I did a little um, digging to try, try to find out who designed this tank or who made it. And, uh, I mean, Atwood was one of the manufacturers of aluminum tanks for RVs. I'm very lucky that it didn't actually um, do anything to the seam, and it just cracked right here. Um, so, what I got is uh, some Harbor Freight stuff. Right here is my little blowtorch. Um, I had a little propane one. Oh, well, these guys right here. And uh, well, you can see it's melted. <laughs> they uh, cheap Walmart stuff. And yeah, that was a fire. Um, it wasn't using it, using it wrong or anything. The uh, I don't know what happened, but it quit lighting as well, so that's going in the trash. And the other thing I'm using is a little product called a Luma Weld. Also, was at Harbor Freight. Um, yeah, they they claim it'll uh, it'll weld aluminum. So, um, braze, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give that a shot. I'm probably not going to be able to video um, me doing it, but I'll attempt it real quick. And if it works out, it works out. But we'll we'll see. I have nothing to mount my camera. And uh, as close quarters as this is, maybe I can kind of get it to stick on my... Oop, that didn't work. Stick on the... Uh, uh, we'll uh, give it an attempt here. I don't really do a lot of brazing or welding or anything. Um, yeah, so let's see just how easy this is to do and if it works. And hopefully I won't burn my RV down. Cause that, that would not be fun. Pretty sure I need to heat this metal up pretty hot. If it's anything like soldering, you want to heat up your uh, your base metal pretty hot. That way your rod or your solder will flow into it. It should be attracted to heat. At least that's my understanding. It's a pretty dense amount of metal here, so it's probably wicking away this heat that it's creating pretty easily. No, not quite hot yet. Of course, empty out your water tank before you try this um, if it even does decide to create steam the real issue is that your all your heat's going to be drawn away so you're gonna have a real hard time doing anything with that well it's starting to get hot it's just not quite there i'm wanting to do this without taking my tank out as well um, make sure I, there we go. Trying to go on a little bit of a trip here pretty soon. Alright, let's try it now. Nope. Still not hot enough. They say you can use propane with this, which is why I'm using propane. Said so if it works, it works. I uh, don't know if anybody's ever attempted this before, which is why I'm making a video. Yeah, probably be a long video. Hopefully I can edit it down a little bit. Make it a... Uh, watchable not quite hot enough yet 
Uh, it looks like I am making steam, so this could be causing a bit of a problem. Okay, so uh, that didn't work. So one of the things the instructions said was to make sure it was really clean. Um, maybe it's not clean enough. So I'm going to go grab some sandpaper. I was hoping that originally what I could do is just kind of fill it. Fill it inside there. Uh, but that didn't work. Okay. So. This is what we did. I don't know if you can see it or not. Especially with the little flash on. Let me see if I can. So. Scuffed up the aluminum. Um, and then I cleaned it. I uh, use brake cleaner um, dried it all off real nice so we're gonna try this real quick <clears throat> I do recommend if you do use brake cleaner to clean anything which it's one of my personal favorites definitely um, it is extremely flammable so be sure it's all cleaned up real nice it will get a nice little flame I'll probably have to put that fitting back on again or put some more dope on it. Pipe dope. Let's see if this can make a, a bond. Hopefully the oxide or finish or whatever it is, if I remember correctly, I think aluminum creates this uh, a natural corrosive coat or coating, which is why it doesn't uh, corrode the same way or as uh, iron and or iron-based metals. So hopefully this works. No, it's not hot enough. It's, uh, it's hot enough to melt the rod, not hot enough to stick. This tank's going to be hard to do, especially with this particular method. I think that if you decide to, to do this, your best bet is going to be to have a better torch. <laughs> that nice green flame on my torch. I have no idea why it's doing that. Something in the air, maybe. The other thing I'm doing, I don't know if you can see it or not, is I'm just trying to get the the, the inner blue flame. To, uh, to just touch the metal. This tank just doesn't seem to be getting hot enough. You can't get the metal hot enough. I have no specialized equipment that I could use to do this right now. <clears throat> no torch, acetylene, or oxygen. Or propane and oxygen, even. Guess it's just best to keep trying. Who knows how long it's going to take. Probably a bit ambitious thinking you can do this with propane. I'm an ambi I'm a pretty ambitious person, I guess. Well, boys and girls, here's a lesson. It has to be hotter than propane. It will melt at propane uh, temperatures. The, uh, the aluminum rod does. But unless your metal can get that hot, 
which mine at this particular moment is not able to do that. But just spinning your wheels. It looks like it probably will work. Uh, most likely. Once, but I can't get my metal hot enough. I'm gonna give her one more good try. And uh, whoever makes the Luma rods, if I make this work, you owe me a beer. Jeez. Jeez. I got one, I think I got one maybe, one good solid hit. And I got a one inch crack. Come on, any more than that. This is the ugliest phrase in the world. <laughs> Talk about needing some heat and not having it. Goodness, I'm gonna have to knock that off and just do it again. Not bad. All right, guys. Sorry, I really couldn't show the welding thing. Turned out my propane tank, and this is some good advice. Uh, it's really cold over here, um, about uh, 25 degrees. If your propane tank is really cold, it's not making the same amount of pressure that it may make at, say, 70 degrees. Um, so whenever I warmed up my propane tank, uh, it put out more pressure. Uh, more oxygen was able to mix in with the gas because there was, you know, a uh, oh, like a Venturi effect on the, the holes around the nozzle. Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> those holes right there um, that draws in air anyway uh, and it allowed it to get hot enough that it actually it's not a good looking braze by any means um, and it's blurry and I'll go ahead and turn the light off real quick maybe this will help I'm not real sure it's pretty dark in here um, yeah, it's not real pretty, but it is definitely holding. Uh, it is, it's holding. So I uh, wasted a stick and a half. <laughs> Easy, but um, yeah, it just it didn't get hot enough. It originally didn't get hot enough. So if you're trying to attempt this, or if you're attempting this, and it's not working out for you, and it's doing kind of what I was, what mine was doing, where it doesn't stick to the metal you're trying to adhere to. Um, it's just, just not getting hot enough. It's not getting hot enough. That's all it is. So uh, you can do it, and uh, you know that's that's really what all it is to it. Make sure your propane bottle is is um, you know warm. It's, that's that's what did it for me. I had no idea. So that did it, and it's holding up great. Um, I definitely am going to make sure this thing's drained in the future, because um, who knows how strong it is. But according to all the literature that it comes with, it it's pretty strong stuff. So hopefully this will uh, this will help somebody out, you know, somebody out that uh, you know had a similar crack to this and uh, doesn't want to remove their tank and. Uh, and I had to remove some of my uh, some of my cabinet tree stuff here, um, but it's real thin, like real thin, and um, it's super easy to replace. Um, I just used a razor blade and popped it right off. And I'm just gonna pretty much just uh, probably grab some, put a backing on it, put the light on. And grab some more of this trim put a back on here staple it in do the same on that and then just staple the uh, the old stuff that will fit perfect back in here where I cut it out and just staple it in and uh, it'll look good as new I'm also gonna put some insulation in here I mean obviously I gotta re-insulate the stuff that I cut off after it dries I'm gonna dry it out and uh, Insulate it again, and I'm actually going to insulate down here And I'm gonna insulate around my tub I've got a lot of drafts coming in uh, under here so 
I'll uh, insulate that all up and kind of help out keeping the bathroom from being so drafty. Um, just that'll be about it. So hope it helps you out. Thanks.